So this is a quick video on how to remove uh, bearings from not uh, brakes, drum brakes, if you're looking to replace the entire back plate, which is often the most economical way of being able to replace all of the things like the springs, the shoes, and if the back plate's quite corroded itself, then you probably also want to do that. The um, tool that you will probably need ahead of time, which I found out the hard way, is uh, something that looks a little bit like this. This is a gear puller, um, which we picked up from Tool Station, but the idea of this is that uh, the little dimple that's at the end of the uh, stub axle there is um, where that pointy bit of the gear puller goes into and then these um, claws go around the back of the bearing so they grip on the back and as you tighten this up it pulls the bearing off of the shaft um, due to the fact that it's normally a tapered or interference fit so I'm just going to uh, pause the video and apply this onto the back so that it goes on like that and then I'll show you this coming off as well at the same time. Okay, so this is uh, this is what the claw, um, the gear puller will look like once it's applied to the back of the bearing. You can see there that the uh, dimple has had that point on the end of the, um, the bolt has uh, sat into the dimple and that keeps it so that it's got something to grip onto and then as I'm, as I'm tightening this up, you'll be able to see the bearing coming off along the shaft there we go that's now free so I could I can now just do that by hand and there we go there's the bearing so that is the easiest way of, if you're not intending on replacing the bearing and therefore you'd probably do a small cut in the, um, in the bearing itself to, uh, to just release it and then bang it with a screwdriver, that's the easiest way of actually getting off the bearings in one piece if you're looking to actually reuse them as we were here because they were quite new and in good shape. Alright, thanks for watching.